In today's video, I'm gonna discuss the tilt in your shoulders at setup, the difference between an iron and a driver, and the difference between setup and impact. Make sure you check this video out. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Branston Golf and Country Club. Today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is the difference with the iron to the driver with our tilt in our shoulders at setup and then into impact. And I'm gonna share with you a couple of great drills to make sure you're creating the right tilt into impact. If this video does help and you're new to my channel, make sure you consider subscribing, hit the little bell icon, it notifies you every time a new video is live. If you enjoy the content, hit the thumbs up, share with as many golfers as you can. So tilting shoulders, it's obviously dictated a little bit by the fact that for me as a right-handed golfer, my right hand, my trail hand that's furthest away from the target is lower than my lead hand. So that is automatically gonna give me some tilt. But with an iron, I wouldn't want as much a setup as I would get with a driver. And the things that dictate that is ball position and where our pressure is at setup. So I've got here a mid iron and then a driver. So with a mid iron, I'd want the ball to be just forwards of center. So closer, just forwards of my, my sternum almost, or, or pretty much underneath my sternum and I'm trying to get my shoulders, they are tilted, but only around 10 degrees of tilt. And we're doing that by starting with a little bit more pressure onto our lead foot. So I want to be about 55%, maybe even 60% at setup over here onto my lead foot. Therefore, with my right hand lower than my left, you can see there is a tilt in my shoulders, but it is not significant here. And we're trying to, with an iron, get that ball turf strike, so we're hitting a little bit more down. Whereas with the driver, we're moving that ball forwards, we're hitting a little bit more on the up on the golf ball, ideally, whereas an iron, we're creating that downward blow. So ball position closer to middle, pressure slightly favoring lead foot. And although my right hand is lower than my left, we're only creating around 10 degrees of tilt in our shoulders. If you're struggling, I get a lot of golfers with too much right side bend here. A good way to do it is set up looking at something in front of you and try and tilt forwards from there. So it stops too much tilt behind the golf ball. I was teaching someone online the other day and he had his pelvis pushed so far forward, his upper body so far back, is really out of a line and returned to the same impact position. Guess what? He was striking it heavy, hitting the ground first. A good player, but was struggling with obviously eye in contact. And you could see why when you looked really at a setup and then into impact. With a driver, we're pegging that ball up in, uh, up in the air. We're moving that ball forwards in our stance. And we're actually starting with our pressure slightly favoring our trail foot to help me hit up on the ball more like 55 or 60 percent back now instead of 55 to 60 percent forwards and that means i've got more tilt in my shoulders around 20 degrees of tilt now you'll find with the elite golfers they'll vary the amount of tilt depending on the shot they're trying to hit so if they're trying to hit a fade shot they may feel like they're a little bit more over the top of the ball they're not starting as far behind it if they're trying to hit a high draw downwind they'll probably tilt a little bit further back behind it, create some more side bend here in their trail side to help them launch up on the golf ball. So good players may vary that, but a good aim point is somewhere 15 to 20 degrees with a driver and closer to 10 degrees with an iron. Now at impact, that number is going to increase, definitely going to increase and it should do. So if we, we don't want to obviously be very high and tall with our shoulders. A lot of players who suffer too much try and feel like their trail shoulders high and, and that's a feeling rather than reality. And they're doing that because perhaps they tilt too far and, and maybe strike in the ground first. But what we want to be able to do is get our right side for me as a right-handed golfer, my trail side, feeling like it's collecting the ball. So my right shoulder's moving down and in front of me, my lead shoulder's moving up and behind me. And you'll see that allows my chest, my torso, my hips to start to open, to start to rotate. So often golfers don't allow enough rotation. So a great idea, great drill. I have done this one before to try and feel that right side bend. If you put a cane underneath your lead arm and by the back of your trail hand, so it's across your body almost diagonally, we're gonna try and just make a little quarter swing and feel like we can actually slap that golf ball there. So my right shoulder is going down. You can see that's increased the amount of tilt in my shoulders from setup, but I'm still over the top of the golf ball here with an iron, okay, to be able to strike that ball first. So I don't want to increase the tilt and have my pressure back. I'm increasing a tilt in my shoulders because I'm feeling my, my trail shoulder, my right shoulder is moving 
down and in front of me into impact. With a driver, a similar story, but I am gonna be a little bit further behind the golf ball. Again, it's because that ball's moved up in my stance, and again, it's because I'm striking up on the ball, not down. So you often see with a lot of elite players, they're applying so much force to their lead foot in the start of the downswing, the upper body will respond and tilt back a little bit more. So they'll have a little bit more right side bend for right-handed golfer here with a driver than they would do with an iron where they're feeling like they're a little bit more covering the ball over the top of it. But that feeling again is very similar. The right shoulder is going down and in front of me, the lead shoulder, left shoulder is going up and behind me. So I'm getting a similar sensation with a driver. I would just expect myself to be slightly further behind the golf ball. Let's hit both. So I'm gonna hit an iron, then I'm gonna hit a driver. And just talk about that setup, feel difference between the two. Just got a green keeper down there that I didn't wanna plunk a, a golf ball on his head. So. With an iron around 10 degrees of tilt, a good idea could be to focus forwards before I tilt down. My right side is lower than my left, but only a little because I'm setting that pressure onto my lead foot at setup, and I'm going to be creating an impact position where I'm feeling my right side goes to collect the golf ball. So there is more tilt, but it's not leaning back. And you can see what that's given me is a ball turf strike, collecting the golf ball. Nice crisp contact there where I'm getting my right side and feeling like it's moving down towards the golf ball. My lead side is moving up and behind me, so opening up my chest a little bit more. With a driver, and perhaps I wouldn't normally peg it quite this high, but there is going to be more tilt because that ball's moved up towards my lead heel. And I'm starting with a little bit more pressure onto my trail side here, more like 55, 60%. So now I've got a tilt in my shoulders closer to 20 degrees, 15 to 20. And impact again, that number is going to increase. And I would expect to see my upper body a little bit behind the golf ball because that ball's moved move more forwards and I'm striking up. So it's going to happen more instinctively. So I'm feeling like I'm perhaps a little bit more tilted behind the ball into impact here, but you can still see my trail side is moving down to collect the golf ball. The lead side is moving up and behind me and it is increasing the amount of tilt in my body into impact. So there is some right side bend for right-handed golfer into impact, increasing the shoulder tilt. And that's fine as long as we're not doing it and all our pressure's onto our trail foot. So people worry they're gonna strike the ground heavy there, but remember as this side's moving down, this side is moving up. And it's actually that our handle is actually rising a little bit into impact as this happens. So our lowest point of our golf swing is around here with an iron or a driver in terms of where my hands get to. The handle is actually moving up and inwards rather than down, 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 down. And that's why we're not striking heavy is there's that reaction of this side going down, this side going up. I hope that video helps, clears up a, a little bit. As I said, it's a fault I see with too many golfers. Look at your start position, your setup position first. There's cheap free apps out there. I can recommend things like Huddle, where you can record your swing and draw some angles on to see how much tilt there is in your shoulders at setup and then into impact. If this video has helped, make sure you hit the thumbs up, share it with as many golfers as you can, and consider, consider subscribing. Cheers, guys. We'll see you soon.